Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Uh, in the last part we pretty much defeated um, Maleficent and we finished off our first run through of uh, our first journey through Hollow Bastion. In this part we're pretty much going off on a bit of a side tangent. Which actually we've got a couple of side tangents to do before we move on with the story again. Um, but this... Ooh, Trinity. <laughs> But what this first tangent is going to be is um, we are finishing off the Olympus Coliseum. And if we open it, we get Violetta, which is a weapon for Donald. Uh, let's see. Go down. Looks kind of cool. And it's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, I wouldn't say it's the most useful weapon um, that Donald gets. Just because it's more of a physical attack power um, uh, weapon, which, you know, Donald doesn't. He's not very good with physical attacks, so he's kind of useless. Um, but uh, it has the same magical output, still has the same uh, MP power, so as the one we were currently using, so might as well go for it. Anyway, what we're doing today is we are finishing off. Uh, the Olympus Coliseum, which means going through the last cup, the the last cup that you have to do, which is the third cup, which is the Hercules Cup. Um, there are, th let me think, uh, do there are, I think there's one more cup you go through, which is the Hades Cup. Um, but I'm not going to be showing that one off because that is ridiculously fucking long. <laughs> That is, um, because all these are 10, I believe. No, they're 20, sorry. There's 20 rounds, I believe. Let me have a look. Is this 20 rounds? I can't remember. <laughs> ah, isn't that nice? Uh, no, there's 10. So in these three, there's 10. In, uh, the Hades Cup, which is the last, uh, cup that you have to do, that one is um, 50, so I don't really want to show that off. And I've never been very good at it. I've actually found I actually find it. I've tried it once, and I could only get up to. I got up to Hades, who was at level. Who was the? Um, what was he? Uh, he was the tenth seed. So I got beat 40, and then I lost to him. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. And of course, if you lose, you have to start all over again. So, yeah, um, fuck that shit. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, the, then the only other thing that you've got after that is you... Once you've beaten that, then you unlock three optional super bosses. That's their uh, raid. It's fairly useful for taking on British, you know, airborne. Donald, get up, you lazy prick. Ah, uh, Goofy, I can rely on you. Not really, but... <laughs> Goofy's got MP haste, which is nice. And his strength's gone up, which is also useful. Don't let him hit you. Oh, for God's sake, Goofy, get up. <sighs> for God's sake. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so then there's three optional... Uh, super bosses that you can get in here, which are... I'm trying to remember, there's the Ice, Titan, uh, I believe there's the Rock Titan, and finally the ultimate super boss is um, uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. And there are other super bosses as well that you can fight, but I th think that only, they only, un I'm trying to remember, I think they only unlock after you've beaten, after you've basically reached the point of no return. So, I won't be doing them because I've never beaten them and they are kind of tricky, a lot of them. And I just really want to get through the story and get done with this game. <laughs> it's, a, it's a long one. Um, it's actually kind of interesting, you know, because um, how quickly you can get this game done. Because obviously I had to catch up to get... Um, to where I was on the PS3 version, on the PS4 version, and on the PS... skipping cutscenes and all that with the PS4 version. Um, 
I actually am now up to like 15 hours, I think. Complete playtime, so you can beat this game really quick if you just don't give a shit about uh, gameplay mod. You know, if you don't, just don't give a shit. Yeah. Now it's time for the trouble. Yeah, he's. That's pretty much just a um, optional grinding thing. Oh look, it's Cloud. It's time for us to face Cloud again. Same strategy as before. Just the way I always attack him is use your special moves as often as you can, and also uh, try and block and try and parry as much as you can. And uh, he should be fairly comfortable. He's not ridiculously hard, but he does hit like a fucking truck. Need. Uh, uh. That's my health item. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to. I should have just used Mega Elixir. That was my own stupidity. Yeah, so just use your special uh, attacks as much as you can, and he's pretty easy to take down. Uh, yeah, here he goes. This guy, this form is really difficult to take on, actually. Like I say, it's all about deflecting or blocking as much as you can. There we go. Starting to get hits in again. There you go. Tech gives you a good 40 experience points. The tech points do there. Yeah, it's all about timing, and clearly I don't have any of that. God, I uh, cut that a little bit fine there. I, uh, there we go, I healed myself up, I'm alright. <laughs> and we got the Metal Chocobo, which is a very useful um, uh, weapon. It's one of the strongest Keyblades in the game for Sora, so it's well worth getting. Um, if you want... I think also uh, there's a Keyblade you can get in... Uh, in the final tournament, the fifth, the Hades Cup. AP and you learn Lucky Strike, nice. Um, but yeah, if you want, there's another one Keyblade you can get if you. There's two, I, I think there's. No, there's only one. Um, and that is if you defeat Leon and uh, Cloud. Because one of the um, fights in the uh, Hades Cup is. Um, is what am I talking about? Is um, Cloud and Leon, and if you use the um, Cloud and Leon one, and if you get that, then you get the metal. It's not the metal joke, but it's another one. I can't remember the name. The Lionheart, I think it's called, um, which is essentially a Keyblade modeled after Max AP up. Nice, which is a Keyblade that is uh, based on the. Uh, Gun blade of uh, Leon's gun blade, well, Squall's gun blade in uh, Final Fantasy VIII. It's powerful, but I th really don't see the point considering that the metal chocobo is. Ow. Fuck you. Oh. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Donald. Um. But yeah, um. Uh. I didn't see the point in getting it, basically considering that you can get the Metal Chocobo, you can get... Uh, and you can get like other Keyblades, like there's the, the Oblivion you can get near the end of the game, uh, and... Thing, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the Keyblade you get from um, Kyrie. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but that's really powerful as well, so... There's really no need to go after it unless you want the most one of the... Unless you want all the Keyblades, but then you need to go after 100% to get the, you know, you have to grind to get all the uh, materials to get the ultimate Keyblade, which, and if you're doing that, you might as well get that one, you know what I mean? So it's really kind of pointless to get. Here we go then, it's time to face Hercules. Fuck, I missed. So what you have to do here first... 
heal up. You have to grab a, a, one of these and you have to throw it at him. It knocks away his godlike powers and you can start hitting on him. You can start hitting him. Uh, oh shit. He's now using his powers. So yeah, he does hit like... Why did I do that? I think I was trying to pick it up and I just happened to be close to him. Yeah, so when he does that, throw the thing at him. I just hit him. He does hit like a truck, um, so just be a little bit careful with him. Especially that move there, it can really hurt. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, he's. it's a pretty comfortable fight. Nope. Fucking hell. Yeah, I was getting... No, don't give up. I'm going to kick your ass. Throw it. There we go. Also knocks him out a little bit, so you can get in a good few hits. I'd say just don't bother with any special attacks, because they can take a while to wind up. So just, just keep wailing on him. And don't let him use his um, godlike powers on you. There you go. Uh, I think um, he only gets stunned actually when you, when he's doing that kind of. Fuck. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> he only, uh, I think, gets knocked silly when you hit him while he's doing that animation there. Oh, I guess not. I guess it's just random. Yeah, the headbutt does a lot of damage, but um, if you can parry. Fuck you! Yep, in trouble here. There we go. Like I said, he's not ridiculously hard, it's just I find him a little bit irritating at times. Uh, I find him a little bit irritating at times when he's like, can you please just, just not dodge by moves and just take your beating like a fucking man, you bitch. <laughs> there we go! And 1300 experience points useful. And there we go, we're done. That is... We have now done all of the cups and we got the trophy, Hero of the Coliseum. So yeah, we've got all the um, mandatory uh, tournaments out of the way and that's gonna be it, I think, really, for... Um, for... Wow. Sorry. I didn't even hold back. This tournament, you know what I mean? Like, this is the last time we have to come to the Olympus Coliseum. Um, and you also got Herc's shield, which is a pretty useful um, shield. <laughs> that face. It's a pretty useful shield for uh, Goofy. It's one of the more powerful ones, so definitely worth getting. You can actually um, get this Keyblade, uh, like, because um, the reward for beating all this is that you can move, is that you get the... I'm sure you can overcome is that you get the Keyblade and you can also move the giant stone. And then we get the Olympia, yes, which is one of the most powerful Keyblades in the game. And we learn the Yellow Trinity, which allows us to do that. Um, they're equally spread out, actually, the tournaments, so you can't actually get it really early on. So yeah, that is... It's quite a long reach, it's got an increased strength, and it looks kind of cool. Um, so it has increased strength but lower magic, so not really useful. Whereas the Olympia increases the magic and increases the strength. And it's not qu quite the reach, hasn't got quite the reach of the um, Metal Chocobo, but it's still pretty fucking powerful. And I love the design, it looks so awesome. So now we're going to go to Goofy, and we can get the Herc Shield, which increases. Uh, um, which has increased attack power, increased strength. Um, so yeah, and it also looks kind of cool, kind of a nice simple circular gold design. I actually really like it. Uh, but yeah, there we go. That is the end of uh, Olympus Coliseum. We've just got to steal this keyhole and we're done. And there's the Olympia. The Olympia I actually stick to for quite a while until I get... Uh, I actually stick with this for a little while until... 
actually what I'm saying, uh, you know, I use this, don't use this a lot, <laughs> to be honest, just because you get the more powerful keyblades, like, pretty much straight after this section, um, where you talk to Kyrie and all that and get those, the more powerful keyblade there, and then near the end you also get um, the Oblivion, which is also really powerful. But anyway, green Trinity Mark, and we obtained a Mirror Well, that was pointless. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this part of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Um, I can't remember what we're doing next part, because <laughs> it's been a while since I recorded it. Um, but I think what we're going to be doing next is we're going to be going off to open the next way to uh, to uh, Hollow Bastion for the second visit. We'll be getting some extra goodies. And then we'll also be moving on to do the final uh, area before the last area of the game, for, before the second visit to Hollow Bastion, which is um, we have to finish off Under Draco Wood. So join me next time for the next part of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. See you next time.